Hey guys, back with you for video number two in this series of going from your kitchen table strat to competing in STPC tournaments. In this shorter video, I want to discuss the difference between the six different STPC regions. So you have four regions that are mainly responsible for holding physical in-person tournaments. Normally the way this would be set up is that you would do a draft either early on in the week, perhaps over email, perhaps over Skype, and then you would show up at a location Friday night, maybe play a series Friday night, all day Saturday, maybe the first part of Sunday. But the East, the South, the West, and Jasper, which covers mainly your Midwest type part of the country, those are mainly in-person tournaments. Okay. Then we have two sort of hybrids, which are pure strat, which is all the games are done online via a Skype call. So the difference here is that I'm not physically sitting with somebody. I'm on a call and whoever's at bat is basically going to be reading the results of the plays with confirmation from the other guy. Um, the advantage of this is that you can spread the play out over perhaps four weeks. So, you know, if, if there's 10 men in your division, it would be normal to play around Robin, um, four games against each of the other nine guys. And in pure strat, you're responsible for scheduling your own two-hour windows with each of your opponents, and you might spread that out over, say, four weeks. Whereas the physical tournaments are more, you show up for some, you show up at a physical location and play nonstop strat on Friday night, Saturday, and Sunday morning. And then we've got one other variation, which is net play, and that's done with the net play feature on the computer game. Again, you're just going to have the draft probably before, before the games start, maybe by a few days, um, in order to give the director time to upload the rosters to the computer game. But those drafts are going to be done ahead of time, possibly over email, possibly over a Skype call. But it, it's similar to Pure Strat in the sense that you are scheduling windows for each of your opponents when both of you are available. But the computer game handles all the dice rolling, all the stats keeping. That's kind of a neat part of pure strat is that you get to keep the, the computer will keep stats for you throughout a season so those are our six different regions you've got four physical ones then you've got the pure strat where you're going to be calling the guy over skype scheduling a time using that dice roller i showed you earlier then you've got the net play where the computer is going to handle all the dice rolling for you you're just going to be managing when your team is at bat and a couple of cool things up here on the um, stpc main site you'll see there's a standings board and for each of these regions, you can go in and see, like, in the East last year, uh, Gene was the region points winner. And what that is, is his three best tournaments, plus, I believe, his regional score. It might be double his regional score. But you're going to be racking up points for each tournament you play in. And the person in each region with the most points at the end may get a small prize, may just get the honor of being the standings leader in that region for the year. Uh, some other cool stuff here. You can see the East region winning percentage leaders, and that would have been Ben Leong, who went 36 and 23 in this region at the moment these standings were taken. So kind of some cool stats up here. Uh, we've got national points as well. That was a title that was won by Greg Streit this year. But each tournament in STPC that you're playing in, you're going to be racking up points that go towards an end of the year title. One more thing I wanted to show you here is the condensed fielding chart rules chart that's going to be on every table when you show up to play a physical game uh, you're going to have one printed out and, and probably laminated if you're playing uh, pure strat on, on a skype call and looking up the results but it has two sides it's formatted to fit on a normal sized piece of paper and you'll see we have all the g1 g2 g3 rate readings uh, the calculations for advancing runners the calculations for stealing on the other side, you've got all the X chart boiled down. Now, one of the next videos I'm going to do is going to show you the actual player cards, how people would normally mark those up. But uh, it would be normal for you to buy a set in the spring if you're going to play several tournaments and just put the error numbers on the cards maybe and maybe some other cheat sheets like or some other numbers to help you remind yourself of the player's attributes while you're in a draft or while you're in a game. Maybe you want to keep track of how many on base he's got, maybe how many home runs 
I'll, I'll take a couple of examples of cards I've got and show you what I do with mine. But anyway, that's the difference between the regions that are all under the STPC umbrella and a quick look there at the fielding and strategy charts that will be available to you on the table when you play. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Next one, we'll talk about uh, some stuff on the cards and have people mark their cards and hope you keep on enjoying these. Please drop any comments or questions. I'd be happy to help you. If there's something you can think of for a topic for a video that you want to see covered, I can probably do that too. All right, guys, talk to you later.